Hi, uh, my name is Martin Kuntz. Uh, I'm head of the foam department. Recently, we got a project for a client called Oak Mountain Lanes in Alabama. They came to us with the idea of wanting sort of an enchanted forest themed laser tag. Uh, so we had the challenge of coming up with a lot of custom props for that project. This project was really unique in the sense that um, everything was entirely custom. It's uh, a one-of-a-kind theme. They came to us uh, wanting a really impactful center prop. Their idea was something along the lines of like an ent from Lord of the Rings or a giant enchanted tree. I ended up doing just some quick hand sketches. Based on their approval, um, I ended up making some 3D models in a program called Mudbox. The face was done on the CNC. The main basic shape was cut on the hot wire, but then the majority of the work, as far as the final result, was almost entirely hand carved. So that took a lot of time. We implement a lot of tools that we use. We use a rasp, we use a wire brush to create kind of the texture. A lot of times we'll end up using a torch and that'll help give an added kind of rough texture, recreate something similar to like tree bark. The prop itself is probably one of the biggest props we've made to date as far as I can think of that's gone in a laser tag. But I think in the end, the tree we created was probably about 23 feet. So logistically with props that are that large, it's not only figuring out how you're gonna ship them and how you're gonna cut them into pieces, but how you're gonna be able to get them through a door, uh, especially a single door. Um, so we had to engineer the props so that it could come apart, be easily assembled, fit through a door easily. Uh, the main base of the tree itself actually is kind of shaped like a U. And I wanna say if the average door height is seven foot four or something like that, it's two inches short of that. So it just barely can kind of squeeze through and then the other part fits on top and then all the limbs get then applied to that. Once it was finished, it was then placed on top of a platform. The platform is really important, not only because it raises the foam so that kids aren't gonna damage it. Not only that, the platform houses the fogger, which has a tube running from that so that it's able to be hidden. There are gonna be targets placed on the tree itself, and then when those targets are shot, there are lights in the eyes, and there's a fogger that can be triggered in the mouth, so it creates a lot more interactivity, especially when you have fewer players. This project was uh, very exciting and challenging, and a lot of fun. I always enjoy a challenge. I think what we ended up providing was something that was really exciting for a client.